G'day guys, welcome back to the SRS workshop. Sitting next to me here, I've got G-Up's heart. This is the Billet RB28. So since we've got the Samsonas out and pulled apart, we figured it was a good time, while the car already had some downtime, to pull this out and just run over absolutely everything. Format series so that it, it's ready to go and Andrew can slay some tyres all weekend. So come along with me. Going to pull all the things off now, George. <laughs> You know, seahorses aren't actually horses. Um, I'm about to pull the head off. George. What are you doing, Sammy? Pulling the head off, George. Pulling my head off. Pulling the head off. <laughs> pulling the head off. You want to pull my head off? Manifold. Yeah. Go up, back with Oh, the, the whole off. head. Yeah. Go for the little jiggle. Oh, I'm talking oh, yeah. I thought you were just going for the big No, one. I'm trying to shuffle. Little, little shuffles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jiggling! <laughs> <laughs> the gayest thing ever. Ah. Alright, ready? Manifold off? Don't swear at me like that ever again. Why? Can you get me a little like block of wood? No. Nah. Um, looks really good. So far. Yeah. All the all the cylinder colours are all very similar, so that's good. It is what it is. It is what it is. Ow. Got him. I think I swallowed a lizard. Are you put a... Nah. Who wants to finger paint? No one? I'm sealing it up, George. First time. <laughs> Stop saying things. <laughs> Just delete all this, George. Just go from here to... Reeks, eh? Got like a real high, like, like alcohol sort of, not alcohol, yeah. but you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Chemical. Lift it up and then just double check that it's not. Don't leak any oil. Yeah. Drafts only sleep for half an hour a day. Standing up. Torque, live. Batteries are getting low on that thing. What's the torque spec? It's just me fine. Yeah, I see it. It's 100. Bit. One. The reason we pulled the head off, because of the design of the billet block with the tooth owl extrusion of the car cylinders, oh. it means that the coolant ports uh, rely on RTV to seal. So basically the head gasket doesn't clamp as much as it usually would because there's that cylinder bore extrusion so like its sealing properties are purely for the RTV so um, obviously billet swells well that's not obvious but billet swells a lot more than cast does so billet block basically over heat cycles going hot cold hot cold hot cold what's happened is it's broken that RTV seal on the head gasket and it was just weeping a little bit of cooling out down the side of the block so rather than wait for it to get worse or maybe you know completely let go at Matsuri. We decided while the car was down that we'd just pull the head off. <laughs> pull the head off and reseal it now while we had the time. So we just pulled the head off, cleaned everything up, new head gasket on, resealed it all and we're just talking it back down now. So Andrew's getting happy it done. Happy days. Oh, happy days. Did you know that only orca whales in captivity, their dorsal fins lay over? Word. Google. Yeah, it is. Lay over. That dorsal fin lays over. So okay, we've got the engine back in G up. So it's all buttoned up, heads back on, all the manifolds are back on, wiring's plugged in, all ready to go. Um, Samsona's gearbox is all put back together and pretty much just waiting on the winner's diff to turn up. And then we're going to put that in, and then we'll throw the gearbox back in, and then we will button it all up from there. So once the winner's turns up, we'll talk to you then. It's here! G'day guys, welcome back to Street Race Solutions. So we got the brand new winner's quick change rear end going in g up today. Uh, just turned up on freight from Zoo Performance. So they've done the 
conversion into the stock R33 cradle so it fits in where the R200 would have. So we're gonna drop the old cradle out, lift this one up, and then shoehorn it in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put everything off this cradle into that cradle right about now. The whole um, idea of the Winters Quick Change is essentially that it's a quick change. So what it allows you to do is change, quickly change, you wouldn't read about it, quick change, quickly change your diff ratio. Uh, so once Andy's a bit more serious, which isn't yet or never. <laughs> This is a winter's dip, your winters, it's cold during winter. Summer's dip's much better, summer's dip's a bit more smaller. Then you got a spring dip, a spring dip. You done? <laughs> you sure? I can't see. Oh, I just flipped coat. Oh. Yeah. Being able to change the diff ratio to suit the track that you're at is a really big thing. Um, so at the moment, basically Andy's flat foot from third to fifth. Um, but once he gets into sort of the tighter stuff, we're going to want that shorter ratio so we can use those lower gears a bit better. Um, so that's basically the whole idea of it, is it gives you a lot more variety. Really take this back plate off, there's two spur gears in here. Gear off, gear off, new gear on, you've just changed your diff ratio. Bolt it all back up and she's ready to go. Um, on top of that, since the car's been making 1,386 horsepower, it's decided that it doesn't like stock diffs anymore. It was never a huge fan, but basically, yeah, we're snapping a diff every five or six laps. Hey, Bill. Hey, you boys busy? You boys busy? Okay, do it. look busy doing it, boys. Best believe, I've been cutting floors out. <laughs> It's that pink one, the line, line. Yep. We've also cut a secondary line there. Two lines. Two lines. Right. So one each. Primary and a secondary. All serious. All serious talk, right? We've got to cut this floor. We've got to cut this floor pan out, right? We've got to cut the floor pan out because the floor pan's got to be cut out. Because there's got to be cut for the dip. Hey guys, just going to give you a quick rundown on what we're doing on G up three or four setup to allow for the big nine inch stiff. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to seam weld up here, right? We've just got to finish this stitch along here, and then we just got to test fit up the new cradle with the new diff stuff in it. Gone, <laughs> gone ahead and upgraded that portion of the drive line. So this will be the winner's diff and then we'll be running um, GTR half shafts. So they're a lot a lot thicker and a lot sturdier than the standard R200 ones. So hopefully we won't have any issues with that. We know the diff's gonna be good. Um, hopefully the shafts will hold up. So we've had to make this tank fit, modify some stuff. And then I bet you didn't know that chameleons can move their eyes actually individually. Yeah. Get in the hole, bro, though, please. There you go. And, um, look at that. That's male seahorses, right? Pump out the children. They say. Alright, yeah. So, in the back of the up the fuel cell here, we got a radium fuel cell module with a integrated surge tank system. So, in the surge tank, we've got three high pressure pumps, uh, which feeds the internal surge. So, so, how many high flow? Three. Yeah. How many low high flow? High pressure. Yeah. Just one. Just one. So, so Four, four fuel pumps inside this tank. Uh, it's around a 60 litre tank, I think, and it's all uh, like slosh protected. Slosh? Slosh. slosh pre so it's full of fuel, it's fuel safe foam, basically, so you don't get any slosh out slosh of it. Slosh preventatives. So you got your fuel lines coming off there, going down to the new hard lines that we've got under the car. On the back wall here, you see that little red box. So that's basically, what that is, is a voltage booster. Uh, so once we get over a certain RPM and a certain target boost, uh, they, or that, sorry, boosts voltage to the three high pressure pumps in stages. So this is the radio module, it's a really good drop in. Sorry, Basically, man. it's not, it's not drop in, it's but it's everything, in. it's everything you could need. It's a whole package, it's a whole yeah. fuel cell package that comes in one big kit. I don't think it 
It does. Well, it does. It's all one. It's got radium there and radium there, so therefore it's a kit. No, but like it's got radium. Everything that's got radium written on it is basically a kit, right? It's very nice. It's a very nice modular fuel system, is what it is. No, it's a very nice fuel system module. module. Modular. No, it's a module. No, module it's a f- no, it's a fuel moduling what system. It, you're an idiot. I hate you. Why? <laughs> That's what it does. It modulates the fuel. Modular, as in you can take it out of this and put it in anything else, and it'll still work. Modular. No, that's mobile. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, this is not. a mobile fuel cell. No, it's not. So radium <laughs> mobile fuel cell. <laughs> you can remove it out and put it into another one. So therefore, this whole radium module cell is mobile. Modular are two different Hello. things. Hello. Yeah, it's radium. No, yeah, it. it's mobile. Black, it's it's got a very super cool green anodized cap. What's that? That's expected. That's a hammer. My hammer. What sort? My hammer. This here has nothing to do with the car or its performance. It's actually a hammer that panel beats stuff, right? And the reason why it's burnt on the end is because Mickey and I, shh, Mickey and I, Mickey and I use it quite a bit to press on metal and be able to tack stuff. So really, we don't really use the hammer side of things too often. We just use the wooden handle because it's a genuine hickory. If you read there, it's a genuine hickory hammer. Show me how to do this, Daniel. Oh, Put okay. it in your chest. Okay. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Hold up, hold up. I think it's full. Let me suck it back. Did you know a shrimp's heart it's in, is in its head? Did you die? Doesn't make you like now, I'm ready. Alright, is that it? How you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, oh, mate? Oh, yeah. So, Wait. here we've got G up, back ready to go. It's currently Wednesday the... Matt, week before Matt's room. Wednesday the 29th of September, <laughs> prior to Matt's room. Matt yeah. So the last few weeks, GF's undergone a bit of a renovation. Just basically maintenance. Uh, when you're running a 1300 horsepower drift car, it's to be expected that you're gonna have to replace some things. So um, the billet RB28 has been letting it eat for the last six months flawlessly, no problems. Um, over the last couple of events, we developed a little bit of a coolant leak weeping through the head gasket seal, which I explained either earlier or I explained later in the Did video, you know? d- depending on where George Did puts you know? this bit. So uh, we decided to we pulled the, pulled the motor out and we've done the reseal on the engine, so everything's perfect. That you good? Yeah, that's just, a plug. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything's perfect from that side of things. No leaks or anything like that. So it's all been resealed, ready to go. Fresh head gasket. Um, everything's been checked over, nut and bolted, so engine bay wires, we're all ready to go. Moving slightly further back in the car, the Samsung's gearbox was having a little bit of issues uh, selecting second to third, so the second, third dog selector ring. It smells um, nice. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? The second, third dog, dog selector ring had a, um, the dovetails on were rounded off slightly on the edges, meaning that the engagement wasn't engaging, basically. So, into the... Into the... Oh, you're still filming. I'm going to show you some gears. Oh, yeah, have you got the gears? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I can point to you. Yeah. You so, can hold nice. we'll do a demonstration today here. This is what we're brought in for show and tell. Dog selection. So, this, this, uh, this is the dog gear, right? Dog gear. Believe it or this not, how the do they get a dog this out of the gear? This is the dog gear, selector. So, this is, this is what you want to see. Can you see that, George? With past my dirty Can you finger? zoom in on that? See that nice... Sharp chamfered edge, it's just chamfered. No, you don't want it chamfered. See oh, that nice okay. sharp cornered dovetail? And then if you go to the other side of that, 
see how it's not round. Unfortunately, two round things. They don't grip real well. They don't. They don't select. They don't catch. They don't catch, George. They don't catch on anything, George. They don't George. catch, George. So, so we've got some rounded off edges that are un, uncapable yeah. of catching. So basically, now. yeah. Um, 1300 horsepower in a drift car. Whatever. Put them in my box. Put them in your box. There you go. What's in the box? So we've done. The there's more gears. The more gear. Well, I don't know if we should show all those gears. All the anyway, gears? Why? Maybe. So we did two two dog selector rings, and we went ahead and did gears one through five, um, mainly for the sake of that we had the gearbox out. There was no other issues with first, second, uh, sorry, first, fourth, or fifth, um, but we could just see some sort of... Just some wedge in second, you know, just wedging it, just really took off an edge. You're a f***er. You want to kiss? No. All of his drive shaft shop, one stop shop for your shafts that'll drive a car, I'll tell you right now. I need a Red Bull. If this is meant to be the half serious part. Oh, yes. the drive shafts come in on Friday afternoon, remeasured our tail shaft because of the winter's diff change. From So we received that yesterday, we put it in, fits mint, shout out to Oliver's gears Perfect. and stuff. Drive line shop. Drive line shop. Drive, drive shaft shout out. Um, if you keep making your way back down here, George, Come on, George. I think we've, up, George. I think, did we that bit out to suit the winner's quick change diff in the rear? Um, heaps that of clearance. Bit. Which bit? Duh. That bit. <sighs> that The bit. floor. Yeah, the floor, the yes, floor. the drop There we go, floor. that's what it's called. The floor Use your nouns, Daniel. Mm. Crash down, George. You can see Shorty's fat drop tank, there it is. Well, it's not a drop tank, drop sump, drop diff. Oh, so, sorry. that is the, are you just doing push-ups? Yeah. Oi. Uh, we got the winner's diff. You Which see, is quick change diff is yep, in the car. Probably. That's hot. So how low can you go? When it's quick change, that's it. Die. When it's quick change in the car. Yeah. Um, Andy took it for a drive last night. Gave it a quick hit and it was all good. Um, no issues. Don't going for an alignment today or tomorrow. Get the alignment all Mickey Mouse back to where it was before the cradle came out. We put a completely different cradle in, and then we'll take it for a quick. Well, not we. Andy, I'll take it for a quick hit to me. No, we will. We will <laughs> take it. We are going to take it for a quick lap, make sure everything's dialed in for Matt Surrey this weekend. And Takata, Takata harnesses. We've got Takata harnesses with the grid queue, Sparco seats with the half cage because we're currently still, 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 still street red Okay, thanks for that. Clutch. The clutch. Oh, so yeah, the clutch. In the car here. So, we've got engine gearbox between the engine and the gearbox. See that? Out of town. Direct clutch services. So the direct clutch services twin plate clutch has been sent back to them and refurbished. They've rebuttoned it, uh, given it back to us with a little bit more clamp pressure. I think we went up from, I want to say, I'm going to guess, and if it's wrong, you're going to have to cut it out, George, but it was like 2,800 uh, pound of clamp pressure. We went up to 3,100, I want to say. So you that's- You want it or? I'm going to. Yeah, right, yeah I'm going to lock it in. Basically, gone away, been refurbished, rebuttoned. Uh, up to the clamp pressure of the fingers a little bit of the pressure plate uh, so it can handle a little bit more power although it was taking it just fine uh, but that's just going to make it that little bit more reliable the extra clamp pressure we're not going to have to worry about it too much at all so now we're now we're off to go and get a wheel alignment no we're going to matsuri format no we're not going, no, to we're going. no are we going to matsuri now yeah. we're going to matsuri we're going to go to matsuri we're off all right Wait, are you going to do the little CS there? The CS where? At Matsuri. We're going now though, everyone's at work. Yeah, but you're going to tell them that... Oh yeah, so this weekend, right, Matsuri is still on this weekend, even though we're heading there now. Um, so make sure you come. If you see G up floating around or SRS boys, come say hello. Um... <laughs> <laughs> come say hello. Come say hello. Uh... Bring a Red Bull. I'll give you a sticker for a Red Bull. So that's a good swap. Clean Straight swaps. swaps. Straight swaps. Straight swaps. Red Bull for a sticker. Um, Andy, obviously, I won't be handing out autographs, nor you. So Andy might be. We will. They just we will, will ask. to who? No one will ask. I'll just write. I'll write on stuff. Um, <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's go. So we're gonna go get wheel line, dial this last little thing in, and then tell you what. We'll see you, mate. Sorry. See you there. See you there.